I'm gonna show you how to make today one of my favorite Filipino recipes. We're making a beef selfie cow using a glorious fatty ribeye just so you get those crunchy, crispy bits of steak and all that really umami flavor comes out. A selfie cow is very traditionally made with things such as soy sauce and sweetness and some sugar, um, very classical Filipino flavors and obviously a lot of garlic. That placed on white rice is a dream come true to most Filipinos and I hope you guys all try this at home. Very simple, start off by mincing some garlic. My garlic is now properly minced up. I'm gonna grab my ribeye steak here. We're gonna make nice manageable cubes out of it, trying to keep everything more or less of the same size so it all cooks through very quickly and at the same rate. What's really important here is that we don't overcook the beef. That's when you usually happen to have really kind of tough salpicado, depending on the cut of meat you use, obviously. Meat's all cubed up. Go ahead and add in a little bit of salt and some pepper. We like our black pepper here, so just be generous with it. And we're gonna let that stand just for about five minutes until all those flavors kind of marinate quickly. Get my wok nice and hot, a little bit of oil, take half my garlic, place that inside here, and just really wait for that to kind of soften up, not to get too brown. And I'm gonna chop up my spring onions right here. With my garlic, I'm gonna add in a little bit of salt, and then we're gonna go ahead and throw in our rice. So with Filipino food, there's usually no real standard of how to make things. The recipes will vary from person to person, which is why when you come to the country and most people ask you, oh, where do you find the best Filipino food? Most of the time, they'll say their grandma's house or their mom's house, just because it's such personal recipes. So this is my way. I like to eat it like this. It's actually quite tasty. All right, fry up our garlic. We're gonna really quickly make our sauce. So I'm gonna use a little bit of soy sauce. I've got my white sugar here, just to caramelize a little bit. So my chili flakes. And then finally, the sauce I never knew how to pronounce, Worcestershire, Worcestershire. Let's just call it Lee Parents for now. A couple of teaspoons of that. Just make sure that sugar dissolves and mixes in. In my other pan here, we're gonna go ahead and add in a little bit of my olive oil and then a tad bit of butter. Once that's getting hot, go ahead and place in all that meat. I'm gonna let it cook one side for about two minutes kind of just mix everything up so that it goes all over the place, everything gets coated by that butter. Add in the sauce and we're pretty much done. Halfway there, we're gonna throw in all the garlic. Now we can go ahead and start tossing it. You'll see that it'll have a beautiful brown, crusty color on some sides. Now this will take about two more minutes to cook and it'll be good to go. So at this point, slowly spoon in my sugar, soy, and Lee Perrin's mixture. I'm gonna start with one, two tablespoons, taste it, see if that's enough or not enough, then add more if needed. And you should do the same thing at home. Right before it's finished, I'm gonna go ahead and grab mostly a mix of the white parts of my spring onions. Mix all that together. Rice is ready. And then we're gonna go ahead and place that right on top of the rice. And that's how I make my version of a very easy, simple, yet delicious Filipino-style salpicao.